Governor Ron DeSantis says local school districts need to do a better job managing their budgets instead of asking to raise property taxes. This comes after he was asked about the Hillsborough County School Board voting to sue the county commission over a tax measure that would help recruit and retain school staff and teachers. News Channel 8's Marilyn Parker joins us. She is live tonight. Marilyn, how does the governor propose school districts get more money? He gave two options. He says first, the state budget has $1.25 billion in it that can only go to teacher salary increases. And then he mentioned the base student allocation fund. I spoke with one school board member who's all for DeSantis' ideas, but another says that they would rather let the voters vote on the proposed increases in the property sales tax. Hillsborough County Schools say they want more money for the district, but there's controversy on how to get it done. You do not need to raise anybody's taxes. Governor Ron DeSantis chiming in on the matter Wednesday after the school board voted to sue the county commission for unexpectedly delaying a November vote to increase property taxes. HCPS says it would help fill hundreds of vacancies, give teachers a $6,000 salary supplement, and give more money to support staff and administrators. It's so short-sighted to not allow voters and I think it's just showing the overstep of the Board of County Commission and I hope Governor DeSantis realizes that this is an overstep. Property owners would pay $1 for every $1,000 in taxable value. The governor says there's money from the state budget and base student loan allocation that could help. Hillsborough can take a lot of that money and raise teacher salaries. So we've done so much at the state level that I think if they manage properly, they're gonna be able to do their part at the local level. School board member Patricia Rendon says she's been asking the same questions the governor has and says more can be done for teachers if they're made the priority. We don't do it that way. We have to change the way in which we prioritize each of our departments and our teachers and our staff the deadline to submit the ballot items for the general election is August 20th. We're live in Tampa tonight. Marilyn Parker, 8 on your side.